hey y'all welcome back to the channel this is your first time here i'm cynthia welcome to cc's texas garden okay so it's been a hot another hot scorchy day and i haven't been outside because it's hot scorchy um i have went to lowe's earlier today and uh, so that's why i got the car backed up because i need to take some stuff out the car but um I hadn't done that because of the heat. All right. So, and I haven't put my raised beds in yet because I haven't figured out where I'm going to put them yet. Because <laughs> I still got to organize some stuff yet. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to come out here and check on my little seedlings. I took them, brung them out here this morning. And so I wanted to see how they handled their first time of the heat. Uh, these are seedlings that I'm having for the fall. So I have them under the covered area here. I also pulled out my, I mean, the flowers that I had that I got from Bose. These were dollar. So I got these flowers and everything seems to be looking pretty good. They don't look too bad. They don't look bad. They don't look like, oh my gosh. So that's pretty good. They do kind of look like they need some water. So I'm gonna give them some water for they won't get dried out. I don't want them to dry out with this heat. But other than that, they look pretty good being out here. These are my cabbages, my Swiss chars, my my fall stuff, y'all. My fall stuff. And I didn't want to have to deal with them in the house any longer. I had them in my little um, grow area. I split them all up, put them out here. And uh, they seem to be doing pretty good. Alright. That was my main reason. Domino, come on! That was my main reason coming out here. Um, this soil here those beans never came up so since they didn't come up i am going to take this soil out of this bed out of this little pool here and i'm going to add it to the soil i have in here so we're going to just do that and i already start building up this one i got some more grow bags and stuff that don't have nothing in them i'm just going to toss them all in there and then I'll start putting my compost, and then I'll put my uh, my main soil on the top. Um, yeah, I see there's some okra that probably need to be harvested. I am not harvesting it this evening. I do not want to be ate up by these uh, leaves on this plant. So I will come and get them in the morning, and I have my little sleeves on and just grab them then i see some of them then over they didn't got too big anyway but i'll pull them up tomorrow i do notice that i am getting either it's getting a sunspot or it's trying to turn orange i don't know i'm waiting on this banana melon y'all for i can pull all this up i'm waiting on this one banana melon <laughs> and i don't know I mean, it's supposed to be get. It's supposed to turn orange, but I need to see if I can harvest it green and still be able to sample it, or I have to wait until it turns orange. I don't know. They're supposed to get like two feet in length and um, orange color, but <laughs> the sun is eating it up. Yeah. But all that trail, all that is from this one plant. And I'm ready to pull this up because I'm ready to get my fall garden started. So I need to pull this out of the way. I think this area here, let me sit down right quick. Ugh. Um, These two areas here are going to be um, my in-ground area. I'm going to just leave it as my in-ground area. I will definitely build up the soil more in these beds, but right now 
definitely this this part being the in ground this seemed to grow really really good with different items i didn't put my corn here it grew wonderful here i did okra twice here before it does really good in this area in this space um i may for the fall when the okra is ready to come out i'm just gonna let the okra go until it don't want to go no more i'm gonna do that this year because i don't plan on using this area for anything i was gonna put some ground cover in here which i probably still throw the seeds over here and let it do a ground cover over here and i won't use this again until the spring yeah i am gonna strictly try to get to using my raised beds i may just go ahead and ground cover all that i'm gonna move these boards and i think this is gonna be just an open area connect you know like that together yeah i probably pull those boards up and build up the soil then put the ground cover on on that area but i can't right now with my roselle i want those to do what they need to do i want to come over here and check on my musters i uh amended my beds with bone meal and blood meal and all that so i just wanted to check and see how they're looking this evening i'm gonna keep them on i'm gonna keep them covered y'all gotta keep any bugs deciding they want to come live in there so just keep it covered this is the other in ground bed that i'm gonna keep i'm gonna pull these marigolds up probably soon and this big marigold here me and this soil i do have uh, a couple peppers in here they're not doing well i'm gonna put those peppers in a container if they do fine that's fine if they don't oh well but i'm gonna plant some stuff in this one maybe maybe i'll close this one up too Maybe I put a ground cover and just cover all the in-ground beds up and just use the um, raised beds. I may do that. I don't know. I'm thinking. Y'all thinking with me. Okay. Um, these are our containers here. Now you know for the winter, we will be doing our winter sewing jugs. So, yeah. I, I like doing the winter sewing jugs. It works out for me so we're gonna stick with that a lot of this stuff gonna be then closed down i got rid of like the sweet potatoes all that'll be gone the flowers be even died out because of the colder weather so it won't be much stuff over here so then i can start collecting my jugs I need to collect some more plastic jugs so i can be able to do that again i did want to show y'all my um my toothache medicine look my toothache plant it's almost covered just got a little bit of red left this one is completely covered this one is almost covered that's when you harvest them when they all turn completely yellow there's some more coming out but yeah i'm gonna put the toothache medicine plant you know dry it out like i'm supposed to and put it in the oil like i'm supposed to okay but i'll have that when i need it even though it's beautiful it's really i mean it's it's giving flowers it's you know but i need to go ahead and move this <laughs> so i can go ahead and put some raised beds i got these raised beds sitting out here they're outside the fence because i don't know where to put them so this raised bed here these bricks we take the bricks from there add them to over there to that one the beans did never come up in there so that just means this soil is not the best so i need to have it at the bottom of my raised bed and then build on top of it okay so yeah probably i don't know when but i will be moving uh, these bricks away from here and putting it in my raised bed um, that is our little evening tour my main thing was coming to check on my little seedling babies make sure that they survive their first 90 plus degrees it was 97 degrees today y'all that was a uh, that was just a regular temp it wasn't even feel like so i wanted to see how they were gonna do being out here 
they seem to did pretty good i'm just going to give them a little bit of water so in case they do have a little shock to them other than that guys thank y'all for subscribing to the channel hitting the like button and i'll see y'all next time